College Football 25 has a brand new passing type called Revamp Passing, but is it the best passing type in the game? In today's video, I'm going to go over all four major passing types. I'm going to tell you guys which ones are the best, which ones are the worst, and I'm going to tell you which ones I'm personally using. So if you guys want to see what the best passing type is to use in College Football 25, stick around after the intro. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the College Football 25 cheese, as always. I'm going to start this video out by showing you guys how to access the ability to change the passing settings. All you have to do is hit the Start button, or you can do this from the Home screen and then go to the Options section uh, and then hit Settings. That's really all you got to do. And then it's one of the top things you're going to see is the passing mechanics. Now, there's a lot of customization here. There's four different styles between Classic Passing, which is the oldest style, all the way up to Revamp Passing, Placement, Placement, and Accuracy. Those are the two newer ones that were added to Madden I think just last year maybe the year before that I don't really remember uh, you have slowdown but this is only in offline play so I'm not really gonna go over that too much because I don't really play offline uh, you got pass lead increase which I don't really uh, mess with too much uh, and then reticle speed which is set to default at seven now I'll go over these two here because I feel like they're probably uh, more personal than the actual passing type when it comes to reticle speed, uh, if you're not used to, if you're trying a new system, like more importantly, um, placement and accuracy or uh, placement, you're going to want to change your reticle speed based off of how familiar you are with it. Seven is the default. I think it's fine. If you haven't used it before, you might want to go down to like a three or maybe like a five and lower it. If you're really used to it, you could hire it. But like I said, I typically just leave it at the default. So that to me, they, they, they've figured out that that's probably the optimal way to go. And I, and I think that I agree. Now, when it comes to pass lead increase, this is something where... Um, you know, I don't mess with this too much because I just feel like the accuracy is all over the place. If you use different settings though, please let us know in the comment section. And if you want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Uh, when it comes to the actual passing types, like I said, this is really what the video is mostly about. Uh, I'm going to go over revamp passing first. Let's go and let's back out. I want to show you something when it comes to revamp passing that I feel is really critical that's missing when it comes to this particular system. I'm going to pick this play here. I'm in the Georgia playbook, which is going to be my first ebook. Hopefully, I'll have that out in a couple of days. This is one of my favorite offenses here so far that I've been playing with. Uh, this is a cover two play. Okay, so all I'm really going to do, there's no real adjustments needed here. This wide receiver is just going to go right up the cover two seam. And just as long as I have a decent pass pro, it should be no problem. But we're going to show you that if you hit yellow like that, that's solid. You can see how the receiver had to stop and come back to the ball. That's because I didn't hit blue. If I'd have hit blue, he probably would have caught that in stride and been a one play touchdown. If I hit red, it's gonna be even worse. So it's really a color system based off of colors. Here you can see I just get it right before, but even there, it was blue I, I, and I still was uh, out of reach, which definitely isn't uh, you know what it's advertised to be. I'm not sure if yellow, maybe yellow is the better way to go. Maybe, I'm, maybe I gotta hit yellow, but you can see here we get blue, we get that catch and run. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much the system. As far as I know, blue is good. That means you're, you know, when you hit yellow, it's going to be a little bit iffy. As you saw right there, the blue, I got that straight catch and run animation. And then yellow can be, you know, thrown from behind or anything like that. I'll go ahead and I'll try to get red here to show you what that looks like. Uh, which means I'm probably just going to have to hold the ball, you know, way too long right there. Boom. You see it's way behind. The ball gets knocked out, increases the chances of knockouts, all that stuff. Now, one of the benefits that they suggest um comes with this particular revamp passing system is just the ability to really pepper like how much you know power you want on that ball as you can see i've had quite a few out of reach throws by the way in the blue uh which isn't necessarily good for this um considering that they're saying that's that's probably the best uh way to go but like i said if i want to get a little bit off a little mustard off the hot dog i can do that you know what i mean you can see right there i just i can basically just halfway uh kind of like you do with the kicking meter i think that's probably the easiest way to compare it when it comes to passing um, is it like the old kick meter like if you don't want to put so much on it say you're kicking an extra point or something like that you just let it go a little bit sooner and you can see you know maybe i'm just throwing it a little bit early there is why i'm getting some of these out of reaches as uh, caleb downs is all over it but you can see how um you know that's probably the biggest benefit but like i said there's something that's sorely missing for me personally that i'm used to and that's the uh, the reticle circle when it comes to uh, you know throwing the ball. I don't really know exactly where the ball is going to land when I use this system. I mean, I can go ahead and I can try to uh, you know put it where I want it, but I don't really know where it is. There's no real um, you know circle like in the old passing style. So I'll go ahead and I'll go back 
to that style for people that didn't play Madden or aren't used to, you haven't played Madden in a while. If I go back to like a placement or placement and accuracy say, it's gonna be the same on both of these. And then I hit resume and we and we call the same play. Hopefully it'll it'll kick in right away. I don't know if, uh, if it'll need a play or not. But when I throw it from this look, now you can see, I know exactly where the ball is going. I have the ability to place it right inside of that circle exactly where I want it. I definitely think it's more important to know exactly where I'm putting the ball than having the ability to take a little bit of uh, a little bit of power off of it just to get a little bit more of a touch pass. As you can see right here, I mean, that was once again, it's not the best throw, but we still made it happen and we still scored the touchdown. So to me, it's way more important when trying to dissect these coverages to have some sort of option where I know exactly where I'm putting the ball, where I have the control to put the ball where I want so that I can make these big plays rather than just, like I said, having a little more control over the power. Obviously placement and then there's placement and accuracy, which is pretty similar to, um, that's kind of like the best combination of revamp passing and placement in my opinion. So now we have a little bit more ability to control the accuracy of the throw um, simply by getting like blues um, as you can see there, we get a green, that's fine. Obviously, that's not bad. But if you get a blue, it's like a guaranteed accuracy uh, throw, or it's supposed to be, because it's really not. If I'm being honest, you can get blues and still have an out of reach throw and stuff like that. But hitting that blue, um, which I can't really, you know, like right there, hitting that blue um, can definitely, even if you have like a pass rusher in your face, you can hit that blue and still get it off and, and still have a really accurate throw. So obviously there's a lot of benefits to this as well. Uh, and then like I said, you still have that accuracy circle, which is to me, or that uh, that placement circle, which is the most important part to me. So I just feel like, you know, this, this particular um, accuracy system, there's just so much more uh, capable, you know, it's just so much more consistent. You can see how when I was first using that uh, revamp passing system, I wasn't getting these type of catch and runs. I'm getting this like consistently now because I have the ability to place it exactly where I want or at least see where I'm placing it. You know what I mean? Like I can go um, to the area that I want. I mean, this is just like stealing now. It's so much easier with this placement and accuracy. And we'll go back to the revamp passing just, so, just to remind you guys what it looks like. Classic passing is way too old. I'm not even going to go over that at all. But classic passing is similar in the way that you really don't know where the ball is going. So back to revamped. I'm going to show you guys... The difference here like i said i scored on like the last three plays uh we're gonna go over and can try to do that like i said we get the red i mean maybe the red had a had a part to do with it but the cornerback there you can see he makes the play go ahead we'll just like i said we'll just run this a couple times just to show you guys the difference and how less consistent this is i mean obviously i can't keep getting red there we got the catch and run so it's a little bit hit or miss you know what i mean like red's supposed to be a mistake it's supposed to be a problem but it still worked out because caleb downs played it the way that he played it played it too aggressively i guess but it wasn't smooth at all. It was more of a, you know, an issue right here. See, like, I don't really know where the ball's going. You know what I mean? It's like, it's a guess. It, it worked out. You know what I mean? Like, this is a good cover two play, which is part of the reason it's working out so well. But I want to try to hit that sideline one more time. Because like I said, it just feels like I don't really know where the ball's going half the time. As you can see right here, we're just lobbing it too far. You know what I mean? Like, I tried a lob pass, didn't work out. Once again, I really don't know where the ball's going. So to me, it's obvious... That revamp passing is more revamping uh, classic passing than it is revamping, you know, placement or placement and accuracy. It's not an improvement over placement or placement and accuracy. It's it's an improvement over classic passing. I feel like since this is a game that a lot of people are picking up for the first time in 10 years, or a lot of people that haven't played since the last college football, they wanted to have something that was an improvement over classic passing, which is probably the last thing that they used. But it's not an improvement over pe for people that have been playing Madden or have been playing football games over the last couple of years because the new system uh, or the last system that was the new system came out is way better than the revamp passing system. System. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to learn more stuff about college football, I have some videos popping up that I've already made uh, over the last couple of days that are very helpful to defense and the best offensive playbooks to use. Uh, spoiler alert, George is going to be on there. And if you want to see more videos, make sure to be a subscriber because I'm going to put out more videos throughout the year. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. I'm out.